All right, so here we have it, the first map and stage, the first stage that I'm analyzing the power of. Um, so stage four, very early to have a mountain top finish, but alas, we're having one. Sakus, you may have noticed, has changed his numbers to 61 kilos, but alas, we can, uh, the numbers before could have been slightly off. But anyway, 291 normalized for four hours at 61 kilos is about 4.8 watts per kilo for four hours, which is very, very solid. Um, average speed 38k an hour, nothing too crazy to be honest. They, they let the brake go and then, and then they sort of just chilled. Um, well, for them, I mean, it's still a hard stage for, for an average, an average human. Um, but we can see like the first hour, two hours was 250 normalized. So that's pretty chill. And, um, it was gradually uphill. If we look at like the first couple of kilometers, it was real, real easy, like 200 normalized. Um, we look at the first proper climb of the day, 10k at 5%, 24 average, uh, 4.8 watts per kilo. So that's, that's nothing crazy for these boys at all. Um, it got a little bit more rolly. Um, you can see there are some, you know, rolling climbs here, um, 300 normalized for an hour and a half. It's starting to, you know, stress, stress the body a bit more, um, on this specific climb. This had a KOM point at the top, uh, six and a half minutes at six watts per kilo. Again, nothing sort of sub threshold, I guess, for these boys, um, which is <laughs> quite crazy to say. Um, but the real deal, as we can all see, is this mountain top finish. So, um, this is the longer segment. This is when actually where the KOM was, but it went up hill from about 15k out, um, just 5%, and they go 31 average, which is mental. Um, that's 1400 BAM on 5% is crazy, because obviously on 5% it's pretty hard, but the realistic, the climb is the last 7.4k, called the Ossia Melek. Um, and again, we can see in, uh, normalized, they're not gonna have, because it's too short, but it would have been a little bit higher. Maybe we'll find the last 20 minutes of the stage. Um, you know, normalized was like 374. Um, so anyway, the last part of the stage was written at a good tempo, 6.3 watts per kilo. Um, at the beginning, it was mainly quick steps, setting the pace. Um, and then Wout Van Aert went on the front and just drilled it. So Wout Van Aert pretty much drilled it to about here. Um, on, on the uh, stage, 7% here, 24k an hour. That is mentally fast. Um, but Sepkus came on the front, the last little part, did about 435 watts, so 7 watts, seven watts per kilo-ish, um, just to, you know, steady the favourites down before the final sprint. Um, unfortunately, obviously, Sepkus didn't go for the sprint. Um, I'll just whip up the uh, the stage here. Um, but yeah, Sepkus didn't go for the stage, but um, you can still see the sort of level that they climbed the last climb at was 6.3 watts per kilo, uh, which is a super high number. Um, it's one of the highest, like, real performances on a short climb um you know it's a super super solid performance especially considering it wasn't even any attacks this was just people setting tempo in the wheels at 6.3 so on the front they were saying some seriously seriously good numbers um so we can see the gc thing here um set coups finish um nine seconds down but that was just the last like you know five six hundred meter sprint it, it was nothing to do with the rest of the climb uh the fastest climb on strava for the day was Roman on day um, but it's sort of irrelevant because, um, Pilgatch hasn't uploaded yet, but there's no real point looking at his numbers because his numbers are almost always wrong. And also the fact that all we'd see it differently is just the sprint. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, well, how many kilojoules was it? As I always like to see 3,000, 3.3,000, 3,300 kilojoules. Sorry, I can't get that. Out. Um, so that's pretty solid performance to be fair. Not the highest you're ever going to see, but as I said, that's because they're sitting in the wheels. Um, you know, on the front, if this was a 9% climb, you know, it would have been a different story. The guys are super, super fresh, that's for sure. And the guys are super, I don't know, they seem to be doing some good numbers. Uh, the knee stage early on, they've climbed the cold air is pretty strong as well. Um, but anyway, um, just watching, I hope you did enjoy these little videos. I've got a special one about um, a certain British rider tomorrow. Um, I hope to get the footage tonight and up, uh, edit it tonight and upload it tomorrow. Um, Tom Pickup won a stage in the Giro. And apparently it's unreal. I haven't seen footage yet, but I've heard it's good stuff. So we'll analyze that and hype Mark because he's sort of fallen off the hype train recently and he's an outrageous rider. So anyway, cheers for watching. Um, let me know in the comments about the tour um, and we'll see you in the next one.